Scenario based career questions for functional career in Oracle Financials. So I've been getting queries from a number of people in terms of seeking advice how to go about making their career in Oracle Financials. Each of these consultants had different kind of a background, different kind of experience. So here I'm gonna take a two to three scenarios in terms of Oracle Financial Streams. So for that, let me just go to our slate here. And what I'm going to do is make a new one. So one of the questions that's asked to me is, let's say question number one. So say people come to me and say that, you know, I am a, I am a, CA or CWA or CS or having some form of a finance background and I've been working into finance let's say from eight years of financial experience of hard financial accounting experience in the industry now they say that I would like to switch my career into Oracle financials and the question is how that is one kind of query that I usually come across from people having financial background the second which is a similar query I have it is similar background as I have noted over there above okay this is quite similar then these people will have again experience also similar but in addition to experience they will have some experience of working in Oracle financials as an end user end user experience now after working as end user they have started appreciating the value that oracle application brings on an in integration to the companies and in realizing their business objectives so and then obviously in streamlining and automating their business process flows so that's how they got to know about oracle applications and they ask question as to how do they make oracle financials career and the third kind of people that i have come across are fresh graduates who says that i would like to move on and switch my career into Oracle applications, Oracle functional finance. Okay, and the fourth kind of person I have come across is a technical person who wish to change into a functional career path. Okay, so these are the four scenarios I have. Now let's discuss one by one. So the first one. You already know in and out of how finance works so in my opinion learning Oracle financials would be a piece of cake for you it's going to be very easy for you the reason is what is Oracle financials what what is, is it doing it's it's all it's doing it's simply automating the business process flows in a software all the business process remains the same according to industry's standards it's just the screens the navigation between different forms and the technical jargon that you've got to familiarize yourself to become an oracle functional consultant so the first step over here would be to learn oracle and then the second step would be to implement it obviously you have to implement it to get its flavor unless you implement it you would never know how to tackle the challenges of an implementation so you can't be called as a functional consultant even after learning oracle so that's how you've got to do it, a two-step process learn oracle then implement it now in my company we've got a number of courses that lets people like this to easily jump on and 
So the first thing they have got to learn is fundamentals of Oracle applications. And for these kind of people, I highly recommend a course over here. So let's go to browser and I'm gonna go to our website. So our website is www.aclnz.com. And in this, if you go to subscribe, you will see one of the courses in e-business suite category. So drill down further into financials here. And then Oracle financial concepts. You must take this course if you have finance knowledge and you want to bridge yourself and go on to Oracle functional career path. So this course contains very good explanation in terms of understanding the basic concepts of Oracle financials, the entities involved and an explanation of specific terms which are used in Oracle applications which is what I've coined in something called as financial concepts and I've explained each one of them as to what each of these entities are and then I've taken two to three business scenarios to actually to explain the process of a financial implementation. So I would highly recommend this course. However, you are free to go and explore other courses but this is a very good course which are specifically made for people like this who can easily pick up Oracle financial concepts from those courses and this same course is highly recommended for the second kind of people in financials who've got not only experience of working in finance but also experience of working as a end user fine so once you started learning it then you've got to implement it so what I just explained to you is the first course that you've got to take is Oracle financial concepts and then you've got to pick up the courses based on the area of your interest so let's say if you are from receivables background then you can potentially pick up courses into receivables so if you go back here we've got courses into Oracle receivables and Oracle tax fundamentals so obviously when you receive something it's got tax implications so you've got to learn receivables taxes and in addition to that this is a fundamental course general ledger financial functional foundation under this course I will let you understand how to set up a company's financial and accounting structure in Oracle application in fact this is the basic fundamental module which must be implemented before any other activity can be done in an Oracle implementation project so as a functional financial consultant you must learn this general ledger implementation side and then based on your interest if you are into receivable side then you should consider learning receivables and e-business tax as the financial side of things if you are on to the payable side then you should consider learning the payables related courses such as payables advanced payables internet expenses so internet expenses uh, deals with the expense reports or expense receipts submitted by employees and for their associated approval and reimbursement so it integrates very closely with oracle payables to get them reimbursed then in fact as a part of payables you should also learn the e-business tax fundamentals module because tax again gets impacted tax entries gets generated when you make payments to your suppliers so you got to have knowledge of the taxation side in addition to that as I said this is a fundamentals module so regardless of whether you want to go into receivables or payables you must learn this and then 
as I said this is a course you must start learning from because this shows you the very basic fundamentals in addition to that you should also consider taking a fundamentals course which will get you familiarized with some technical jargon in Oracle applications which is what you should come to the category called as Oracle eBusiness Suite Fundamentals and you've got a category called as Oracle eBusiness Suite Fundamentals Advanced which is where I have explained a number of technical things as far as Oracle applications specifics are concerned. It's got nothing to do with financials but it's do mostly to do with the interfacing and technical aspects so you should also take this course to build on your grounds okay so that being said let's go back your slate so I guess we have discussed these two kind of scenarios right how you have to go about it and the third one is again you've got to take the e-business suite fundamentals financial concepts and then choose courses based on your interest it could be on the receivable side or on the payable side or on the project side in fact we do have courses on oracle projects as well so if you go back to the category you would see one of the categories as projects you can see there are a whole suite of courses related to projects over here projects are something in which a lot of financial people take interest in so if you are looking at going into projects then you should consider starting with taking Oracle project fundamentals training course first then you go on to project management fundamentals then you learn project resource management fundamentals finally go on to project portfolio analysis fundamentals so that's how you should take the learning path and finally the technical to functional consultant is something I've got a separate course and I've, I've posted it on my site as well as on YouTube so instead of me explaining you over here in detail I would highly recommend you to come to my site and go on to this free stuff category and then go to career and here you've got a course how to change career from Oracle technical to functional consultant I would highly recommend you to take this course which is where I have addressed the areas pertaining to changing the career path from technical to consultant functional consultant so I'm gonna skip that one at the moment so what I want to do now is I want to create one more slide and to show you what I've just explained so the first thing you should consider doing as a functional person having financial background is to take or learn financial concepts or I should say precisely Oracle financial concepts. That is step number one. Then step number two is you should consider learning Oracle e-business suite fundamentals so this so this will address the financial aspects of Oracle EBS okay the basic fundamentals and this will address the navigation and technical aspects of Oracle application technical aspects means those technical aspects that a functional consultant must know once you have the knowledge of these two areas you kind of made your base to learn more then the next step would be to learn Oracle AR AR stands for account receivables or AP or fixed assets or projects now AR is one module 
which is stands for Oracle receivables. So you should consider learning collections along with AR. And then as I said, the base modules, which includes general ledger, EB tax module. Okay. Now as far as AP is concerned, you should consider learning the GL and EB tax module and then there is a separate module called as payments which is very closely works with account payable modules so it's a newly launched module in release to li payments but most of the time as long as you learn account payables you will also get grip on payments they are almost you know they've got shared screens then you've got fixed assets if you would like to learn more about fixed asset again you should learn these two fundamental modules of general ledger and EB tax and in projects as I said you should also learn these two plus those four areas I have mentioned which includes costing and billing then project management then resource management and then project portfolio management PPM okay so that's how you got to learn once you have learned all these things then you've got to go and hunt for a title in the industry like a junior function consultant could be something you could start with because you don't have any Oracle experience at all and you've got to be honest with the potential employer that you don't have an experience what you are bringing to the table is very high end Oracle fine learning plus a good amount of functional finance experience from the industry. If you lie or fake your CV, chances are that you could be blacklisted by the employer or basically you will lose your faith. Even if you get selected, get the job, if you are unable to perform, then what will happen? You would know. Obviously, you would lose your job. So in order to avoid all these situations, it's always a good idea to be honest with your employer stating that you are bringing a good amount of functional experience plus technical knowledge of Oracle financials gained out of training. And a lot of employer understands this and they will give you opportunities in the role of a junior functional consultant, which is where you have got to work with a senior consultant senior consultant to get hands-on experience into implementing Oracle applications.